and a local alderman is taking steps to crack down on crime in the Wicker Park Bucktown neighborhood. He's introduced an ordinance to make it harder for bad businesses to get their liquor license. This comes after two shootings at a nightclub called The Point. CBS 2 Charday Gray has been following this story and joins us live from the Streetside studio. Charday. Well, Dana, while the point remains closed, Alderman Scott Wagaspak says that 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 business is under a short term closure, meaning that that owner can request a hearing to appeal the notice and he's pushing for an ordinance to toughen liquor license. So up until just this past year or two, um, it was a really safe area has become unsafe due to some bad actors. The point in Wicker Park remains closed after police labeled it a public safety threat last week. But 32nd Ward of Wicker Park, Bucktown and Logan Square, Scott Wagaspak says that's not the only business stirring up trouble. On that particular 1500 block, you know, there's a handful of them that we want to take the most stringent measures personally. And, and say they're going to commit to cleaning up that block. Alderman Wagaspak says he recently introduced an ordinance to strengthen the timeline of when a bar would have to respond, including putting them through more stringent measures to respond to the city and the liquor commissioner. 95% of our bars and restaurants do a great job, but we always have a handful that take up 90% of the community and police um, efforts and it's those that small percentage that really ruins it for everybody. He says surrounding businesses have to take mutual responsibility to take tough measures. This is the second shooting at that location. And it's not to say that they caused it. You know, the uh, there are other bars on that strip that um, have contributed to this problem as well. And, and the fact is none of them uh, have really stepped up until just recently. Alderman Wagaspak says the next step is to get community meetings together, which that means gathering uh, neighbors, community businesses, as well as the Chamber of Commerce, which he says that process to bring attention to bad businesses could last up to a year. Reporting live from the Streetside Studio, Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News. No, there's a lot of concern out there right now. Thanks, Sharday. Chicago